Hello, Poplar Grove family. It is good to talk to you again. I long for the day when we can see each other, when we can be in each other's presence unhindered. I, I'm beginning to learn a little bit about what Paul meant when he wrote in his epistles that he longed to see the people that he was writing to. I, I, I think I'm beginning to know what that means. Uh, listen, I want to talk a few minutes to, about April the 5th, this coming Sunday. We are, uh, our plans are to continue drive in church this Sunday. Um, we are continuing that for uh, a, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, the, the governor this week came out with a mandate of stay at home. Uh, in his list of, of exceptions of essential um, activities, worship falls into that exception. And so we feel that uh, it is permissible by our governor uh, to continue to meet this way so long as uh, we follow the strict rules of the, of the uh, CDC. So here's, here's what you can expect on Sunday. Uh, weather permitting, and uh, if it does wash out Sunday morning, there's, they're calling for some spotty showers, uh, uh, and we'll make, we'll, we're, we're going to try to make it uh, work anyway, but if, it, if it's just a washout, then we'll uh, send out communication that uh, will just go online uh, at that point. Uh, but weather, weather permitting, uh, we will have a small setup team who will set up the sound and the video, uh, and that will consist of five people, and those five people are being notified, and uh, we will set up early Sunday morning. Start at 10.15 as normal, but here's, here's my expectations. If this is something that we're going to be able to do and to continue to do, uh, I need your cooperation. Um, absolutely no getting out of the cars. Uh, you need to stay in your cars uh, uh, during, the, during the whole time. Uh, I need everybody to stay in their cars. There'll be no bathroom facilities available. Um, so please make sure you uh, make those uh, arrangements prior to. Um, if all of a sudden you've got to go to the bathroom, then it may be just time to go on home. Uh, but uh, we've got to keep the facilities shut. Uh, we'll have we'll do offering as we leave. There'll be a bucket or a trash can, and if you want to give, you can place it in there as you leave, or you can give uh, online. Uh, so please, uh, if we're going to um, be able to continue to do this, we've got to uh, we've got to stay in our vehicles. We've got to maintain uh, that six foot distance. <clears throat> so please uh, help us do that. We won't be handing anything out. If you would like the lyrics to the songs uh, that we'll be singing, then just go to our webpage and to the resource page and you'll find uh, the, those songs listed there. Um, so, so please help us uh, to continue to do this. You'll still be able to listen to the radio uh, when you pull in. We'll tell you the stations. Um, we will still live stream. If you have any hesitation about coming or if you feel a little uncertain, please don't come. Um, I don't want you to feel like you have to. I know uh, I don't want you to feel loyal and, and come out of loyalty, but, uh, but you still have reservations. Please just stay home. Uh, but we want to we wanna continue to uh, uh, try to meet. If it, if it, if it is going to just wash us out, we'll send communication and uh, we'll just go online. But our, our plan is to watch the weather and, and still continue to do drive-in church. So that's this Sunday. Um, let, let, me, let me take just a second before I close and, and let you go back to your, your activities. Um, let, let me explain just a little bit of why uh, your pastor insists on uh, trying to gather. Uh, it is, it is, it is that, that is my aspiration. And, and, and let, me, let me try to give some explanation to that and, and help, help you understand that. Uh, one, uh, uh, I, I press hard in this direction and am very serious about it and very cautious about it um, because I feel it's a it's just a it, there's just biblical instruction there. Uh, the biblical instruction is is littered throughout the epistles and the book of Acts. Uh, we find in the book of Hebrews that the church had quit gathering because of persecution and they were tired of that. 
uh, and they were tired of being having their goods confiscated. In Hebrews chapter 10, the writer of Hebrews says, listen, despite that, it is imperative to gather. Do not forsake the assembling of yourselves. And, and, and essentially, he's calling them back into that risky environment where they would have the threat of losing what they've got. And so uh, it is, it is there, there's just biblical instruction for gathering. And, and so I want, to, I want to follow that. There's also biblical instruction for following the authorities that rule over you. And we are. We are. We've, we've gone online with everything that we've got. Uh, we are following all the instructions. And, and, and here, here's, here's another reason why I, I am pushing for us to, to gather. Not only that it's a, a, um, a biblical, there's biblical instruction there, uh, but there's also government provision here. Our government authorities have said that we are an essential activity, that worship is an essential activity. And, and this isn't some loophole in the law. This is his exception. And I feel it's my responsibility as a pastor in the safest way possible. If the government is allowing me, then I need to meet. And so I'm, I am following the, the very exceptions that he has given. And, and I feel that this is, this is an explanation as to, as to why Pastor Jason is, is, is really um, uh, uh, insistent on, on trying to gather. There's biblical instruction. There is government provision. Um, there's just ecclesiastical precedence. You, you look at the church in the New Testament, and, and she fought to gather. Even when they were 10,000, 15,000 strong in Jerusalem, and then persecution came, and they were scattered, they, they fought to gather. They would gather in a synagogue, or they'd gather in a home. And so there's just, there's just ecclesiastical precedence to, to attempt to gather, to be wise, to be safe, and, and we are doing that. Um, there, another reason why I, I, I really want us to gather is because there is a, there's a, a public witness of gathering. When, when people see the church gathered, they may think a lot of things, but, the, but they know that here's people that have sacrificed time and, and are, are meeting in a particular place. There's a public witness that takes place. And, and if more, now more than ever, uh, we need to continue to share and to show uh, that witness uh, to, our, to our neighbors. Um, we're, we're, we're doing all that every other place is doing to make it safe. And so when you come uh, to church on Sunday morning, uh, all I'm asking you to do is drive into a parking place, turn your radio on, listen, turn your radio off, and drive home. Uh, we, we are making it safe, and we are abiding by the instructions that have been laid before us. Um, so we will be having church this Sunday. We will be gathering. If you don't feel it's safe or proper to come, please don't. Uh, but please pray for us. Please join us. Uh, via live stream, and, uh, and, and we will just give God the glory. This is a tremendous season of time, and I'm excited about celebrating Palm Sunday in a couple of days and then celebrating the resurrection of my Lord. Uh, Easter is a big deal, but you know what, church? Every Sunday is a big deal because every Sunday commemorates Easter. It celebrates Easter. That's why it's a big deal to Jason Grove. I'm not trying to preserve some sort of tradition. I'm not trying to preserve some sort of, hey, this is when we're supposed to meet. You know, I, I don't care if we meet at 10, 15, or 11 o'clock, or 1 p.m., or 8 p.m. That, that, that's irrelevant to me. But the church gathers on the day the Lord raised from the dead. That's theological. That's a public witness. And just as with the ordinances where we are told, as you do this, each time you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And when you do this, you tell his story of his death and his resurrection until he comes again. It's a big deal. And as long as we can, we're going to find our different attempts, uh, different ways, and make attempts to gather. Church, I love you. 
and if if uh, if you are going to join us Sunday, hallelujah. If you're not, hallelujah. We're still the church uh, at Poplar Grove. Uh, I, I love you and I look forward to seeing you and singing with you and praying with you and, and bringing him glory. Thank you again for allowing me to serve with you and to walk this journey together. Um, love you, church. I'll see you soon. Thank you.